Good evening, friends. Good evening, humans. Did you ever ask yourself? Did you ever question yourself how selfish you are? Did you ask yourself what you can do for others before asking anything the others to do for you? Did you ask any in any prayer of yours what you can do for God rather than asking God to do anything and everything for you? Today's title based on this little intro Destruction of Selfishness and what you can do for others before you asking others to do anything for you. Selfishness rules this planet. Selfishness rules this part of the universe. Are you this species? Are you that species? Are you alien or you native? Are you American or you Mexican? Are you Serbian or you Croatian? Are you communist? Or are you capitalist? Look at all this intrusions in human psyche. We cannot do anything before we separate ourselves. This is how we've been trained. We're really party trained to go full blast with accusations, with judgments against these others who don't even have a clue that they're others. I mean, others from you. So when selfishness becomes a norm, when selfishness becomes a way of life, there is no peace on this planet. There's no peace among the people. There's no peace between the nations. And there's no peace inside of any of you who are ruled by selfishness. Being ruled by selfishness is not an accusation. It's just a statement of the fact. Because whatever you do, whatever you do, you do it for your own little benefit. Consider this. I'm not talking about rare individuals, rare humans who walked around, rare ones who are still walking among us, and now they're taking a place in political arena, banking arena, spiritual, energetic healing arena. Some of these are Vladimir Putin, another one Donald J. Trump, another one Julian Assange. These are all contemporaries. Another one, which you don't really much hear about him, it's Kim.com. These are absolutely unselfish beings. Why? They come from a different historic environments and different economic uh, kind of family trees, yet they're all doing the same thing. They're there for everybody else but themselves. Doesn't matter, put it. If you want to see more about his character, see the, the movie of Stone's new movie called Interviews with Putin. In the last two years, uh, Oliver Stone recorded four hours of beautifully set up a movie showing a Vladimir Putin as a true humanist, a character that really have such a high level of expectation for all the humanity, not only Russian people, yet it's very protective of Russian people. Now you have very good balance on the American side, where Trump behaves unselfishly with 
all of his materialistic achievements until this point. Now he will show every single one of these freaking capitalistic communists who want to separate rich from poor, left from right, black from uh, whites, and so on. He will all bring this together through unselfish deeds of his. Julian Assange being engaged in many, five years in just in so-called so prison or asylum to get away from being arrested and prosecuted for something that CIA and Swedish uh, government based on CIA's uh, false accusations are intending to do with it. Yet, even after they dropped the, the case, the Swedish uh, government, the British doesn't want to let him pass through freely to go to asylum where he want to go. Yet, the process is very treacherous, very treacherous for especially for Julian Assange and all of his team who are involved around him. Yet know that unselfishness of his deeds is absolutely noticed by Prime Creator. It's noticed by every single one of us who are truly humans. I'm talking about myself and many others, millions of others. Yeah, it's not maybe in a public eye, American public eye, as a true humanist and true hero who's bringing truth out, but it's coming. And it's coming with the help of you know, another true humanist, which is Donald Trump. And he will link this with Putin. And he will link this with Kim.com. New Zealander who absolutely did nothing to American CIA old administration, yet they accused him and they arrested him and they confiscated all of his goods, wealth, saying that he did harm to American whatever way of life. By distributing freely movies, videos, documents and so on. So wait when this all comes together, when Kim.com finds a beautiful document related with the murder of Seth Rich, the DNC operative who was basically murdered during the process of uh, elections. Yet they're trying DNC, the, the Democratic National Committee, trying to hide like it's never existed, yet it's coming out. So to me, all these unselfish beings are coming together to show the world that we cannot continue living like this. Hoarding and grabbing and abusing each other, abusing animals, abusing planet, abusing all the resources that this planet gave us. And if we don't have anything else to, we'll blame the God. Oh, earthquake comes. No, earthquake didn't come because of God. Earthquake came because some of the nasty military dudes are playing their little game, trying to inflict more power, uh, more pain and fear and destruction inside certain areas where they can continue feeding after 10 years after the Jamaica, Haiti earthquakes. It's absolute disaster what Clinton's foundation was doing. Yet, nobody want to look at it on the perspective of energetics. They were stealing from Haiti people, yet not anymore. And the reason why? Because many of these unselfish beings start disclosing what was really happening. Start disclosing how many billions the Clinton Foundation just channeled out of the Haiti uh, help uh, funds and put it in their coffers. Selfishness as a, a crucial element of our education, our legal system, our 
let's say, food distribution system, our entertainment system, they're all our financial system, our religious system in the, that is in the present time. It's absolutely twisted. It's twisted to the point that we rather die than being unselfish. That we'll rather hoard all of our goods and all the goods that we can steal from others. Doesn't matter, employees, family, earth, other animals. To present ourselves as we are something better. Or these creatures are presenting themselves as something better than anybody else. Yet. That's why they don't want to talk with the true prime creator. They're talking with this fake Luciferian creature who's by the way not anymore yet the residues of this selfish energy still resides in many many people so how to heal selfishness out of our energetics what to do to truly start saving this planet and saving this civilization raising it to the higher gradients of humanity start doing things for others no matter what you can do a lot of things without spending a dime you can just spend your really useless time and start to be helpful to others and this time becomes very well appreciated not only by you not only by the person that you help not only by God but it gets appreciated by your own health because when you do this you become healthier your energetics become cleaner you start seeing so pristine into every aspect of other people and other Situation, so you know how to serve them. Serving was twisted. The word as such was twisted. Yet, we will untwist it. That's why I call this video, or little chat, Destructions of Selfishness. This is what's coming. And it will be not distracted by us going around with our forks and pitches to try to kill it. No. We will destroy it and diminish it by being kind beings, by being a true human to our next first neighbor, our true friend to our family member. How many families you can say they're really friends? I'm talking children, parents, siblings, cousins. How many friends you have among your family members? They will show you where you're standing. How many times you just did something without being asked for, for other purpose, for other person. Yet, when you start realizing that only by you taking a conscious decision and choice, I want to help somebody else, without asking anything in return, your selfishness gets healed. Has Almost like an onion gets peeled off, peeled off, peeled off with any of your actions. It just starts getting smaller, smaller, smaller. And basically, on the end, you realize that inside of this stinky and, and biting onion, it's actually laying a nice, beautiful diamond. Diamond of your unselfishness, of your service to every single being around you. So become unselfish to the animals that you you are eating until this moment. By stop eating them. By teaching others that they can absolutely survive much, much longer and much healthier without eating meat. Then you can raise your voice when you hear a not equal behavior or aggressive behavior from somebody who give themselves right to insult and attack and abuse let's call it lesser being or not so strong being 
usually children or elderly, or in many nations, women. So if you watching all this, and if you supporting Muslim women has to be wrapped in hijabs and all the other wraps and they have to obey their husband no matter what and has to be five of them for the rich husbands and two of them for the poor husbands, poor males. We are still screwed if you don't say anything. You still supporting status quo and you're still supporting selfishness because you becoming part of this ill deeds by your silent consent by you saying nothing you actually absolutely approving everything so this is why putin this is why trump this is why assange this is why dot com are the most unselfish beings on this planet would you like to support them? Then you will become unselfish. How to support them? Spread the word around the planet. Spread these videos around among your friends. Don't be silly in your ignorance saying that people like I am, people like Denise, people like Trump, people like Putin, people like Assange are temporary or we are just there to blab and make no difference. Absolutely not true because we are here to make a difference for every single one of you, but only if you allow it. And we're giving you an example. We're giving you such a, an example. Putin, like Trump, like Assange, like .com. That you can actually live much, much better being unselfish than hoarding and grabbing every single little piece that you can find around. So I want you to start enjoying your own life by being absolutely unselfish.